Hey guys, and welcome back to the Lit Shop. So, in this video, we're actually starting earlier in the week than normal than we're used to because normally we just film uh, Friday and the weekend doesn't matter but it's Tuesday we're starting and tonight Job is gonna start on his RB he's gonna take the head off and I'm gonna help him with it because he's never done stuff like that and I really appreciate what he's doing because that's the same thing that I was doing just learning by doing just fuck around to find shit out and that's exactly what I've been doing and that is what he is gonna do with the RB25 just take it apart and see what happens but first I want to put the Nissan inside because I want to change the engine mounts I got new engine mounts because one is completely melted away it's gone it's not supporting anything so I'm gonna do that Yop is gonna do that but first I need to get the Nissan inside and it's actually snowing right now we didn't even have much snow in the winter but it's not really wintry weather lately so I don't know where the snow is coming from but we need to get the Nissan inside so let's just do that let's give it a try I don't think it's gonna turn on because it hasn't turned on the last few times I tried to start it and now it's been sitting for a few days actually more than a week let's give it a shot and I got no power all right, let's try again. Nope. I don't think it's gonna do it. Fuck. Sorry for the shakiness of the camera, but it's really cool. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Start, you piece of shit. <sighs> Why? Why did I buy an S Jesse? All right, third attempt. Yeah, totally not the Lexus that I'm gonna use with jump leads to start the Nissan. Nope. Why ain't you scared, man? Happy birthday! I heard him talk. What? And I figured he must be somewhere. No, you didn't. Yeah. You didn't. So we put the RB on time. We put the timing marks where they should go. And it's not really a good sign that the timing belt itself is just not really tight at all. But it was on time, so that's a good sign. It should be good. And a plus side on having a really loose timing belt you can probably just take it off like this don't have to undo the tensioner just pull a little bit and then it should come off as yes, i'm trying to get it off and not succeeding <coughs> well that didn't work so while he is taking out his camshafts from the rb25 i'm just going to change the engine mount and for comparison, this is a new engine mount, the same that I have currently on there, but it's not looking the same. So as you can see, it's, well, not there anymore. It's completely gone. It's just demolished. So here we got a better view of my completely demolished engine mount. <laughs> it's really bad. Oh God. Yeah, I should make a heat shield. So let's change it out for a new one. So here are the remains of what once was my engine mount. It's not much left. And now we have finally taken out the camshafts themselves. And now the time is nigh to decapitate the head. Yes, the head is coming off. A few minutes later. The time is nigh. No, we're not doing it again. <laughs> Take it off. Take it off. I'm trying. Take it off. Take it off! Just take it off! You do it then. Okay. Are you sure you got all the bolts? Check them. Yeah, you got them all. Isn't there an RB thing that we don't know of? 
Oh yeah, there is. Oh, yeah, 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 there is. I know about that because uh, the guys from BTR pointed that out last time. <laughs> Tip shit. Yeah. Yeah, take those four out and then we'll decapitate it. Oh no, it's just two. <laughs> no, it's on the front as well. <laughs> oh, is it on the? Oh, there. there. Fuck's sake. Dumbass. Attempt two. Take it off. Take it off. Just take it off. Dude. It's still pretty. <laughs> just take. On there. Just take it off. <laughs> I'm trying. Just take it off. You can mend it with a hammer. <laughs> just take it off. That's it not gonna. That's Hit not gonna. Harder. That's not gonna do anything. I think it's coming. Oh it's yeah, coming. it's done. It yes, take it off. Woo! Woo! So yeah, now you made your RB25 officially completely useless. So I just made a heat shield that goes over the engine mount so it's not going to overheat again and I'm going to do the uh, reflecting tape that is in the engine bay as well. The gold tape is going on here so it reflects the heat and I'm just going to spray it now so it's not going to rust and then it should be good. My engine needs to be machined. Yeah. Because it's got a little bit of rust. I know it sucks but you should. Yeah, it's probably... It's the, the right thing to do. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's a part already so just send it away. Work a little harder. Let's do this the right way. Yeah. Even though it's more expensive than taking Even it. though it's still an RB. Shut the f <laughs>
So the Supra is inside, we got a big list of shit we need to get done. So I'm gonna start with the wastegate, that's the most work and that's my part. And Mark is gonna start with the seats so that he can use his seat belt and the car is safe to drive. And after that he's gonna do some small stuff and I'm gonna do the other small stuff. So <laughs> we got a big list, let's get started. Alright, little update time. We got the intake air temp sensor in there and I welded a little aluminum plate on there so we can uh, tap it. And sensor is nice and secure in the intake pipe. And we got the wastegate, I don't know if you can see it, but we got the wastegate on its place, screamer pipe is on its place, and we got the lines run to the solenoid. So the big things that are left on the list is uh, bleed the coolant, so it has enough coolant and no air in there. And we need to see if we can fix the shifter because it doesn't go into first gear while the engine is running, and it does go in first gear while the engine is not running. So I don't know why that is happening, so we have to look into that. And then we got some other small stuff. We also fixed some other small wiring stuff. And I think we're almost done. So the Supra drives, but I think it's safe to say that the turbo seals officially retired for good so we need to rebuild the turbo but it drives and all the things we did are fixed because before it sounded like a tractor and now it doesn't anymore so the wastegate is fixed but now i think it's a cool opportunity to get two 1jz cars two really cool 1jz cars next to each other so let's get the nissan outside just showing Mark the car because I bought the car from him three years ago three and a half years ago and he has never driven it with the new 1JZ with the new setup and we were just driving I wasn't doing anything stupid and all of a sudden yeah that happened and I don't know if it's an axle or the diff but something is really 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 broken this time so no me tonight I've done all that work to go to the meet I've done the, the wire I've done the, the alternator thing all the work for nothing because I don't think we're going to the meet tonight. <sighs> yeah, girlfriend to the rescue. So she picked up Mark because luckily Mark came with the trailer with the Supra on it to my place and the Supra is still there. So they're gonna pick up the trailer and then they're coming back. Way too loud. But Mark's coming back with the trailer and then we're gonna pick it up and drop it off at home. God, this sucks. Mark to the rescue! So the Nissan is back home on the trailer and we got another trailer because Bauke, little shit, it's got a new car and it's really cool.
So we put the Nissan on the lift to see what is broken and of course everything is already going well uh, so far. So the lift st stopped working, it just doesn't go up anymore. But we could check what's going on and I think that the diff is missing some teeth. So when I turn it, if I, oh yeah, you can see there's nothing happening to the wheels and I can move it this much but then it does grip again and the wheels do turn but if I come to the same point again it's completely free so it's just missing some teeth on this axle on that wheel and yeah that's the end of my diff and we actually wanted to go to a meet tonight the last meet before it went on the lift permanently to do body work and even prepare the DCT swap because the plan is before Jetfest UK I want to do the DCT swap and CBS is going to help me out so thank you and I think we're going to start early and I need to rebuild a diff but Mark probably has a diff for me so I think with those two diffs I could just bring it to the diff guy and he can build one good one and that should be fine and then we can put the DCT in and do the body work and then hopefully make it to Jetfest UK. But for now, on this bombshell, on this bomber, it's time to end the video. I was kind of hoping to go to the meet tonight and test the launch control uh, some more, but I think that's not gonna happen. So, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe down below, drop a like if you're down there and I'll see you guys at the next one. It's almost out. Yeah, your engine mount shit. Yeah. But that's because you said to me when you swapped the engine, like, oh no, this engine mount definitely needs replacement and a heat shield. And I guess you never did that. No, I didn't replace it because it still was, it, it was quite okay. It wasn't good, but it wasn't like this. And then I said to you, I still need to make a heat shield for that. But that was at the point that the engine was just in everything around it wasn't made yet so yeah a lot of stuff has happened in two weeks after that point so. also a deadline with going to france in like one and a half months that had nothing to do with this no definitely not not the fact that you were running out of budget time sleep energy, energy life. life the will to live i was empty <laughs> yeah i was completely empty well you and still are <laughs> He has I, need a <laughs> I needed the vacation to get some rest and to, to get my battery back up. But he I hasn't, trained it he, so much. He hasn't caught up yet. He no. hasn't caught up yet. <laughs> it was drained so bad before I went that it just didn't charge up enough. And then when we got back, I started working again. And since You're then, like your S13. The battery's always dead. <laughs> yeah. I always need jump leads to do stuff. Yes. So yeah, I'll uh, pick you guys back You're up when the when the head's uh, coming off. What? You're my jump lead. Because I, I have zero motivation to work here and then you're just that annoying little kid that asks every day, can I work on my engine, can I work on my engine? And then sometimes I think, I think yeah, my couch can wait tonight. So the cable comes from the back. <clears throat> so the wire comes... What is going on there? What the fuck is he doing? He's on the wrong side, on the side of the road in the grass. Dude, what are you doing? How, how, I, I don't understand how people achieve something like that because it's very clear that it's just a one direction road and yeah, sure, go in the grass. That's a good idea, dumbass. Some people